Alright, so this is a little tour of my collection of software CDs, uh, NES games, and 3DS games as of May 18th, 2021. And because I'm bored, I don't have anything else to upload on this channel right now. Um, I am working on making uh, a video on Spy Kids on the one of the software CDs, the Microsoft Encoder thing. I'll be looking at that sometime soon, but in the meantime, here's a little collection of stuff. The first one is the 1995 um, Golio Encyclopedia um, from 1995. Uh, I've already covered them too in the 1997 Encyclopedia. Yeah, I've covered these two already. This one I have not covered. It's, the, it's called uh, Witty Ultra Pinball Quick Night. And then after that, we have the um, America Online Graphics Suite. Comes in a weird, weird uh, dual case, by the way. It kind of gets so difficult to know how you open. So, uh, next. Sorry. Drop and clap, and there we go. Alright, that kind of ruined the flow of the video. Hopefully, it doesn't get any worse from here. Next is this thing over right here. <laughs> I don't know why I have it. I just saw it through a little, I thought you need to get uh, this thing. It's a hunting game, with T of course, Browning's hunting game. And next I have a Carlton uh, virtual makeover, which is usually enough for this little software CD. It has a USB waiting. I mean, I guess you, you are kind of having to wait software, but I've never really seen... I have to, like, all the other software CDs don't have an actual ESRB way unless they're a game, so just find it odd, especially since there's no ESRB way on the front or back of this jewel case. So, uh, next thing I have is a uh, Duck Track Racing and its sequel. Actually, there were like two other sequels so instead of that, but uh, I don't have one of them. I don't know what I don't remember what the other Duck Track Racing game is called, but once I get that, I'll probably review on it again. This is what I'm going to be reviewing next. It's the 1994 Microsoft Encarta. Then, yeah, I've already looked. No, I haven't looked at this yet. It's called Encyclopedia Pretend Cause CD from 1999. And I, these are two CDs I've already looked at uh, the Time Magazine Multimedia Almanac. Almanax. And again, that's two other things I've sort of kind of looked at, but I couldn't really have work spill and some follow people just two games I could not be able to get working on my virtual machine or my main operating system which is very stupid and this thing right here so it's kind of a show off of multimedia capabilities from I think 1993 I saw around that time I guess yep 1993 it's seen down there I got who wants to be really now I'm gonna play that one day it looks like a fun game from 1999, I think. I have no ESRB on it as well, which is kind of strange, but. Uh, and the last um, software speed I have is, uh, of course, Xena Royal Princess. This is the first uh, review I've ever posted on the channel. And that's all my software speed, so. Uh, I came out to look at my. Uh, NES collection, there we go. Alright, I'm not going to take them all out since you can at least read a spine, so just a quick, quick one down on my NES games. I got two new NES games from, since last time. Uh, the first game is Balloon Fight, and the other game is Super Mario Bros. 3. And then other than that, we have Double Dragon, Gyromite, Metroid, uh, Ninja Gun, Othello, Pac-Man, Frosty Pro Am, Mario 1, Mario 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tetris, and Yoshi. And over here is my assortment of 3DS games that are in boxes. So, all the other 3DS games that are not in boxes, they're in the cabinet. And over here, by the way, is all the other miscellaneous junk I have. Some more software and CDs and all, but that's my that's pretty much my collection of software CDs, NES games, and 3DS games. <laughs> Um, yeah, so next time we're going to be looking at more of this, and uh, also I'm also looking on a review of a part two of my review of Spy Kids. Let me see if you can get doing this Spy Kids. I'm going to be looking at that again for a second part. I'm going to be kind of going through really, kind of going through the halfway point of the film. If that makes any sense, I'll show you what I'm talking about when that gets uploaded. But uh, 
yeah, that's all I have for this video. I'll see you around, and I'm out.